telling your story. You're watching WCBI Sunrise. We're talking this morning with our good friend, District 41 Representative Kabir Kareem, but he's here this morning to talk about something very close to his heart. Good morning, Kabir. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. The 7th Avenue Heritage Festival. You were just telling me it's been going on for 40 years? Yeah, 40 years. It's uh, one of the oldest festivals around in the area. How does it make you feel to be a part of carrying it forward? Look, I was a little boy attending the festival when it used to just be a flatbed truck and some kids dancing. <laughs> and now it's grown to an award-winning festival. We were voted one of the top 20 events in the Southeast. And I believe it because, I mean, it's, it sounds like it's really grown. It's oh, yeah. four days. Four days. But what all do you have planned this year? Well, tonight we're having um, an awards reception and town hall at the Rosenswag Art Center starting at 6. Seating is going to be limited. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, we're having uh, the movie Teal shown on 7th Avenue. We want folks to bring the lawn chairs and the blankets. And Friday and Saturday is the big block party. We deem it as the biggest free block party in Mississippi. <laughs> Very cool. You're expecting a lot of people to, to come out. Why do you put so much work into it and why is it so important to you to, to keep it going? Well, it's always important to me because 7th Avenue has such a rich history in Columbus and Lowndes County. Uh, the Queen City Hotel that once stood on the corner of 7th Avenue and 15th Street housed entertainers of the day and they had nowhere else to stay in a 100 mile radius. So Little Richard from Satchel Page to Willie Mays to Cap Calloway, Ellis Fitzgerald, all stayed at the Queen City Hotel. Wow. And I was fortunate enough to bring Bobby Blue Bland to the festival before he passed and he remembers staying at the, at the Queen City Hotel, him and B.B. King. So 7th Avenue is a rich, has a rich history and we need to continue to tell the story. And we want to bring attention to the revitalization of that area. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason we do the festival every year. A couple different things that you're spotlighting with the festival, which I think is really, really cool. Do you consider it something that can grow still? No doubt about it. Uh, as I said before, it started out very small, businesses getting together. It's like customer appreciation that has grown to this huge event. We've had entertainers, I mean, Grammy Award winners, uh, Academy Award, uh, nom American Music Award nominees, and this year is no difference. We're celebrating uh, 50 years of hip hop as the rest of the country is. They nice. turned 50, and uh, we've got some uh, nationally recording rappers coming in uh, awesome. on Saturday, uh, Webby and, and uh, Big Boogie. Uh, as the young folks like like to call them. So we're real excited. West Love will be there Friday. And we just want everybody to come out, come early. Uh, we're going to be there from 5 to 10 on Friday and 10 to 10 all day on Saturday. We've got some good vendors. Uh, you got until Thursday at noon. Um, to continue to become a vendor. Yeah. Uh, but we're expecting thousands on 7th Avenue and 15th Street. Filling those four days full of, of stuff. No We'd doubt about it. Here at Kabir. Is there any aspect of it that you're looking forward to more than the others? Well, you know, I'm just looking for people to come out, have a good time, and, uh, and enjoy the rich history of 7th Avenue. And let's continue to educate our community on this rich history. And you talked about what it meant to you. Do you get the vibe from being out with people that it means a lot to them too? No doubt about it. I think the community is very excited about this year's festival. And uh, I think it's going to be a ton of people out there this year. Uh, look out. It's going <laughs> to be a good time. Starts today, lasts through Saturday. Yes. All yes. right. Where's it going to be specifically? Uh, tonight, Rosenswag. Tomorrow, 7th Avenue, next door to Helen's Kitchen and Friday and Saturday at the corner of 7th Avenue and 15th Street. All right, you got it all memorized. I'm impressed, Kabir. Thanks so much for joining us no, this morning. No, thank you for having me. Absolutely. We'll be right back.